this is a drawing by <coughs> Leonardo da Vinci and you can see this in the National Gallery in London I've seen it a few years ago um, it's an impressive drawing um, let's take a look at it it's Saint Anne with Mary the child as Christ and Saint John the Baptist as a child and I want to focus on a few things in this drawing um, one thing to notice is the roundness of these forms um, in his notebooks Leonardo da Vinci talks about Relievo he's very concerned in um, suggesting form through the use of shadows and you see here very beautifully how he uses shadow and light to form this face but also this upper body is, is there's a great roundness in it and you see that here in these children as well uh, so that's one of his main things to achieve um, roundness uh, that a, a form looks solid by means of shadow and light he says of relievo that each um, each each part has to have a shadowed side and a light lit side so when you look at a face like this you could say that each uh, part of the face um, has a light side uh, so to speak and a shadowy side and so is the nose defined and the eye and the eyelid here and the mouth and it's also interesting to see um, the reflected light here so um, the light comes from this side this from above on the right in many old master paintings the light comes from the left but when I look at this shadow here it comes from let's say um, let, let, let me put it this way um, Mary her face seems to be directed towards the light so there you have the direction I think when I look how evenly she is lit here and when you look at Saint Anne her face the light comes from above and you see here um, this part reflects light which uh, create a reflection here so the face of Mary is clearly defined by means of light and shadow and each figure in the most important part let's say the head and uh, part of the upper body is um, treated with white chalk so there's a maximum of definition in light and dark so to speak a maximum in roundness that he could achieve especially in the faces <coughs> and in the arms with the gestures and it's interesting to look at the different stages because not when we look at the drawing as a whole not every part is evenly uh, worked out uh, not not evenly finished so you have this hand here you see only the outlines he worked on brown paper and the brown paper plays a great part in in the image he uses is at the as a mid-tone and you see that here for example but also in the face itself of Mary, of Mary here you can still see that the brown mid-tone plays a great part in, in this forming of the face if, if you work on let's say um, a white paper 
you have to draw for a great part the, the wider way, so to speak. And when you are working on a mid-tone, um, you can work much more painterly. So you can work um, much more <clears throat> directly with light and dark. So um, it saves a lot of trouble actually to work on a mid-tone canvas if, if you are painting or in this case making a drawing. And here we see this hand. And I want to look at different stages of drawing here because like this hand, the feet are only suggested. I really love these lines here. It shows a great knowledge of anatomy that Leonardo had. had. And here as well. So you see the, the, the toes here. <laughs> and you see some um, adjustments here. So this line. He sketched it a few times, I think. Uh, this line, this line. I see four versions, about four or five versions of this one line. And I think that in every aspect of this drawing, he started with such lines. And then he used hatchings. I'm looking at this now because certain lines are very strong and other lines are quite subtle or weak however you approach it but when I look at this here um, here is a hatching but it is a hatching that's been drawn over but here you see a hatching so you have this area here where you see the lines <clears throat> and only the lines this is flat you, see, you only see the, the mid-tone of the paper in this area and here you have hatchings and they follow the form so to speak of this hand and when he progresses you get forms like these in which the hatchings are uh, drawn over. Perhaps he uses his fingers or something to make the chalk smoother here and here as well. So you have these areas where you don't see hatchings anymore, but um, it becomes a more smooth, uh, smoothed out area. Maybe he used something, something, a soft tissue or his fingers. I think Leonardo, I, I can see him using his fingers to very subtly do that. In some, some of his paintings, I, exp, I, I suspect he used his fingers as well to form um, his, his, uh, his forms in, in, in drawing and painting. And then in the most important parts where he fi which are most finished he uses white chalk and in certain areas it seems to have mixed with the the, 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 the the black chalk or charcoal I don't know exactly what he used charcoal or chalk but um, he used the white to, to mix here I think it seems to have mixed and but here he set very subtly on the brownish ground. He he adds that white, and he builds up the forms in such a way that you get this really subtle uh, uh, forms of the forming of the face. So those are the stages, so to speak, of uh, how he proceeded. First lines then hatchings and he smooths things out and he creates shadows like these and then to finish it these forms with white chalk 
And that's his method of working, so to speak. What I find fascinating <clears throat> about this uh, artifact, uh, this drawing, is that you can see the borders. And um, here you can see that he used nails to attach this to something. And I think this was mounted on a frame like linen when you make a painting. Whoa. Because here you can see that the drawing ends um, at, the, at, at the very straight um, edge here. So I guess this was folded around a frame. And here you can see clearly nails, that, that holes of nails, I think. That, that were being used. So I think this was um, for a long time. This must have been kept as a as a framed drawing, I guess. Maybe for working. Um, usually, these types of drawings would be used to uh, make a painting. So they would put holes in them, and they would be mounted on a on a piece of linen on which he could paint and. Um, he would uh, put charcoal or something through those holes uh, so the drawing would um, be visible on the linen to, to, to paint but the, there aren't holes in this so th this was being kept as a work of art itself I think it's a complex composition and this reminds me of the Elgin marbles the goddesses that um, that one can see the sculptures, these folds and the draperies. I really like the combination of these folds and these organic human forms. And that's what you see in those sculptures as well. Um, if I would try to imagine, you know, how refined someone like Apelles could paint, for example, when I read something in, in, in old books, but we don't have any Apelles paintings, but he was famous for his lines. I think of Leonardo da Vinci and I think, well, um, if it was the, the, the you know, the, the, the summum, if it had the greatness of, of real excellence, it, 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 it would have been like this, perhaps, because da Vinci is one of the greatest draftsman that I ever lived and this is a painting by Bernardino Luini someone who worked with Leonardo da Vinci and he used this drawing and you can see here these children and these two women and you can see them here as well um, and he added Joseph and he worked to, together with Leonardo. I don't know if he really worked with Leonardo to make this painting, but um, it's interesting to see a rendition of this composition in the style of Leonardo da Vinci by another painter then, but to have this. But um, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful painting in itself, but it lacks the magic that this one has for me. There's a certain atmosphere, a certain greatness about this. Um, and that is really Leonardo. Um, there's something of, of an enormity in this, when you look at this. Uh, the combination of lines is incredible. The directions, uh, this, even the flatness of this hand. I don't know if it is an accident that he just didn't finish this, but I, 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 I like it actually. Anyway, maybe I'll return later to this drawing to make another video, but here we have a, a video that's almost 15 minutes and that's long enough, so I, I stop now.